The song which I believe Alan McGee, he put a bit of a comment on that one, which must have put a bit of pressure on you. Was it, the, as far as Creation Records were concerned, a landmark recording for them? That's healthy, healthy pressure. Yeah. It's good, it's good for someone like McGee to say something like that about your tracks because he always said it about other people's and you always thought, well, why doesn't he say it about us? So, <laughs> right. In the end, he did. Right. So it was a good feeling then. It wasn't like, oh, my God, here we go. Now we've got to live up to this one then. Well, you no, it's just a sort of normal thing he says anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Can't think that he would do. But presumably your relation with creation is good anyway. It's been a good label to you, haven't they? Yeah. Uh, we have a really, I mean... Relationship with creation is the same as the relationship with Alan, really, because that's what he is. Yeah, he is. Know, he embodies it, and um, he's just one of the greatest guys I've ever met. So right. that's got to be a good thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, the actual songs then on the album, um, twelve songs, as you say, eleven written between yourselves. Uh, but, but very much, I mean, I noticed like your songs are like towards the first half, and then your songs towards the second half. Was, yeah. this, was this a conceptual thing? Or no, um, not really. I mean, we. We'd sort of tried a few different arrangements with sort of, you know, song arrangements and where they should all go. And um, I don't know, in the end we just picked something that we felt just flowed the best from start to finish. Mm. And um, that's sort of how it worked out, really. Right. So, it's just like a voyage from Mark to me. Yeah, <laughs> that's the concept. Right. And, and in between the, the creation yeah. pop-up and all that, how did that one yeah. come around as a track? Were you familiar with it before or as a um, song? Well, I bought the CD for George while we were in America because right. he was we were just going shopping and, and you know he wanted to hear an English something English that we liked, so I just got that. Mm. And um, we didn't really think of it as being a possible cover, but then he said, "Well, you should do that track. How does it feel to feel? Because mm. it kind of it would suit you." Mm. And um, first time we tried it, it really did suit us, you know, and it, it brought something out that wasn't there before, you know, just kind of, some kind of. Uh, just a trashiness that we hadn't got any other song on the album. Right. So, uh, it was one that had to be. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing. And they've, they've got back and made more records, haven't they, or something? Yeah, they've, they're back together in phase two. Phase two. <laughs> it starts again 25 years later. So for yourselves, you must be uh, locked into it now. You, you go off on tour. You, I know you've got a UK tour lined up. And then does that go on to be planet type of stuff? And round you go again? Uh, no, we're not doing any planet tours this no. time. No. Um, we're doing a, we're doing a little bit of touring, but if it gets too much, we've we've got our foot on the brake just to say right. no more. We're going to go up in the studio.